Hi everyone, I'm Valeria from the Data School Cohort 21 and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your bar charts more compact by moving the headers above the bars. Here's a sample dashboard I created to track who has and hasn't paid rent. And you can see on the left hand side here I have two sets of uh, bar charts that represent the percentage of money already collected. I notice that my headers are above the bars and not to the left of the bars as usual. Well, let me show you how I've done this. Well, let's start by creating a bar chart the usual way. I'll put property on the rows and I'll put total rent paid on the columns. And here I have a very standard bar chart. Now, if I wanted to move the property names above the bars rather than having them on the left. So, for example, if I had some space limitations on my dashboard or if I wanted to use this chart in a phone layout, what I need to do is double click in my columns shelf and type average of zero. Then on the mark scot, I'm going to make sure my bar is actually a bar and not automatic. And then I want my average of zero to be a square. I can then control click and drag property name onto the label of my average of zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and dual axis the measures. I will make sure the axes are synchronized. And then what I need to do next is edit the label on my squares to set its alignment to top right. All I want to do next is hide the axis and adjust the spacing and the size of the bars. I can then right click on property and untick show header. And then I also want to remove measure names from the color on marks. What I also like to do is go into my squares and reduce the size and the color to zero. I'll also remove the border just in case. And then I'm going to just clean up the chart a little bit by getting rid of the grid lines, the zero lines and the wrong column dividers. Finally, I can add my actual percentage values by either switching on the label, the labels on the bars, or by adding the total, pro, uh, total rent paid onto the label for the squares and editing the label to fit both fields into one row. Now, if you remember on my original chart, I had these values shown in relation to 100%. If I wanted to replicate this again, what I'd need to do is unhide the header for the total rent and then double click in my column shelf again and type in average of one. And in this case, the average of one will represent the 100% in comparison to 0.9 or 0.84 values that I already have in the view. I can then grab that bill and drop it over the total rent axis when I see the two grin rollers. Now I can move the measure names pill from details to color. And then I'll need to go into the analysis menu and switch off the stack marks option. And that's it. I can edit the colors if I want to. And I can hide the axis again. And in this way, if I needed to make my bars 
shorter to fit them onto the dashboard, I would still see a clear title for each of the rows. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this little trick will help you be more efficient with the space on your dashboards. Check the description for links to additional materials. And if you found this tip useful, you might also like my tutorial on adding divided lines to a dashboard to create some visual structure. Hit the link on the screen to watch it next.